Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we're gonna take a look at Zuki Mura's concept note for Dornier DO335 fail. Molders count on various reference materials while building a project. It is essential to know how the real subject looked or looks like before you start working on the model. That isn't always possible since many old tanks, ships and airplanes were lost forever. What is a concept note? A concept note is Zuki Mura's perspective on how a modeler should be supplied with information from the company that sells the model itself. Tamiya offers small leaflets and only for some of their models, with various pictures and short description, but nothing like the booklet we are looking at today. Zuki Mura used the same idea, but elevated it to a whole new level, expanding the information about the built model enormously. A concept note from Zuki Mura represents a booklet, in this case here, little over 60 pages. It is filled with information about the aircraft itself, featuring pictures and basic technical data, which for Dornier 335 is not available in great quantities. Alongside with that, there are a few projects featured made by master modelers using the Zuki Mura kit, which eventually you will be building if you have one of these at hand. Concept Note completes the kit and its contents, especially in Zuki Mura's case, where the kits are rather complex and full with interior sub-assemblies. So, a Concept Note is a tool, one which can serve every serious modeler and one that provides most of the information necessary for decent or even more than decent completion of a complex kit like the ones that Japanese maker gives us. We have a forward, afterward and in between for chapters. First one is about the DO-335 itself. This aircraft had so many highlights and design concepts that it's hard to fit everything in a full book, let alone few pages. However, basics are pointed out here with short description of what was in reality, including some archived black and white photographs completed by drawings and new shots taken at Udvarhazi Center at Washington Dulles Airport, where a sole surviving Dornier 335 is kept and maintained. From those, more than basic information can be gathered in case you like the airplane but still don't know a lot about it. Everything is arranged very neatly, providing combination of old and modern knowledge suited to fit all the basic needs and more, while modeling Zuki Mura's DO-335. From Chapter 2 to Chapter 4, we have modelers with their completed projects providing us with tips and tricks. Everyone's approach towards a scale model is different, and each one featured in this concept note shows his own style of works and methods used toward completion of a wonderfully looking plastic kit. You can find riveting and painting techniques, assembly tricks and tips, and ideas, each of those unique and useful for those who haven't started their DO-335 yet. People inside are carefully chosen by Zuki Mura's team and as you can guess, that was a tough choice from many experienced and talented modelers all around the world. Looking at the picture of each DO-335, you can see the different styles, combined with many ideas of how this kit can be altered to look and make up your mind on how exactly will you build yours. The book is devoted to Zuki Mura's first DO-335, a single-seat version, available for sale for a couple of years already. It is a 30-second scale kit and it's an enormous beast. Also, this can be used for their kit that is upcoming in November 2017, a twin-seater Dornier 335, based on the same tooling seen here with an additional cockpit and canopy and with very interesting look. 
In conclusion, I must add that owning just a single concept note from Zuki Mura will alter your perception about managing your information before starting a model. Doesn't matter which one you have, the Phantom, 335, the Yuhu or something else. Never mind the appearance and the look of the booklet here. It is by any means flawless, but the idea incorporated within will help you understand the serious approach that Tsuki Imura has towards modeling. It shows that this was an idea of an experienced modeler, not just a kit producer. An idea that holds more than enough to help you walking through with a complex and sophisticated kit like the ones Zuki Imura produces. Of course, the other concept notes from Zuki for their other kits are available and they look very much like this one here. Full with useful information and with knowledge for those who don't have the opportunity to go and visit the surviving aircraft by themselves, but rather count on books, videos and pictures to complete their projects. For each Zukimura kit, this is a must-have and for kits different in scale and made from other manufacturers, this can be used as well. The ideas inside are fantastic and will help you turn your model into a piece of art. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked this short review of the concept note. Subscribe if you did and comment down below, hit the like button and stay tuned for more. I will see you in the next one.